Hello everyone, so your recently grafted plant broke for some reason or the other. Either you was anxious removing your grafting tape, you bounced the graft while moving it from one place to the other, it fell in the car while traveling, and you end up with a situation like this. And you want to know what now? Well, the solution is pretty simple. All you need to do is put the grafted union back in position as you can see here, and simply use a piece of grafting tape or plastic and wrap that area back firmly this plan I broke here was a uh, grafted pomer I did sometime recently and the grafted union actually broke a week ago now it's not advisable to leave it that long before you look to do something but immediately as the accident happened would be the best time to do this right now over here I have a grafted avocado I had a similar situation here with this one while water in plants somehow the hose ended up bouncing the grafted union and it broke the same way uh, like the pomerac there and all I did immediately was wrap it back in position as you can see here it's perfectly healed I just removed the plastic here to check it after two months time so after two months of taping it back I just removed the plastic now this brings me to another point as you could see here on this grafted plant the union wasn't strong enough as yet so I end up leaving one leaf on the tree and this might be important because in cases where this grafted union broke clean off you tried to mend it or it was hanging just the same way like me and the union didn't heal now because this leaf here we still have life in the seedling so we could reuse it and try to graft again right now if you remove all the leaves and you have an accident or your graft failed you're going to end up with a situation like this this tree is completely dead now because there's no leaves remain to sustain life within the seedling right so it's important to actually try and keep one or two leaves until you know your tree is healed properly and after it's healed then you could remove it now this could take um, according to how, how well your tree heals it might take a while you could leave this leaf here for as long as you like as long as you pay attention that it doesn't have any growth happening under the grafted union right that's all you need to pay attention to Recently also some people was asking me if you could use the cleft grafting method which is grafting to the top as I did with other plants as you can see that was an Avocado Same here It was grafted using the cleft grafting method um, Mami Sipo Grafted using the cleft grafting method as well and especially um, citrus people was asking about citrus because um, usually we tend to graft citrus using the board grafting method so people wanted to know if you could use the cleft grafting method I did before on citrus and yes it's possible as you could see here this is a rough skin lemon I did recently and the cleft graft work so the methods of grafting you could use them for any plant feel free to do it experiment learn something and keep practicing if you fail one time as I say you leave some leaves on the plant so you could always have another attempt at grafting if you removed all the leaves from the seedling and your graft died it broke uh, you lost your graft then you would no longer have the seedling accessible to use right so these are nice tips to have as you're now learning to graft I hope you all enjoyed the video um, I hope it was a little assistance to you all so thanks for watching again
enjoy your lockdown if you have any questions feel free to ask once i have time and i could answer it i would answer it right take care everybody